hey what's up you guys welcome back to another vlog i hope you guys are all having a great day today in today's video as you guys know i have a charge pipe with a blow off valve on my car but it's more of a like a ebay charge pipe with a knockoff tile blow off valve so i got a brigger motorsports charge pipe with the tile blow off valve and we are going to be removing that one to install the brigger motorsports one that's what this video is going to be about guys so let's get to it so here is the charge pipe with the blow off valve it's more of like a an ebay or i don't know which one this is from but we're going to be removing this for the bms one right there this vacuum line connects to your manifold and it's such like a little fitting and with the tile one i've seen people tap in to the manifold and i'm not going to do that so i got the blow off valve adapter that is going to connect somewhere right here and then i'll show you guys but yeah let's get started so for now i'm gonna start removing the dual cone intakes and we'll get started guys so intakes are off we are gonna be loosening up this clamp we're gonna disconnect the line that's connected to the blow off valve because we won't be using this line no more and then just prying off the c-clip right here and then we should be able to wiggle this out all right guys so i disconnected the line and it goes pretty much attached to that little nipple right here this one so I won't be using this line anymore but I just loosened up that clamp I'm about to pry this off but before I do that make sure you guys disconnect the sensor that's right here before you guys yank this off and end up ripping it so I'm gonna go disconnect this and then pry this off and then start removing the charge pipe all right guys so the charge pipe is out honestly looking at this charge pipe it looks like it's a BMS charge pipe Anyways, we're gonna go with a gloss black one. I'll show you guys right now. This is the gloss one. I have one with gloss. Uh, this one looks good, but I just wanted a, a gloss one. So I did get an O-ring, so we are gonna be placing it in here in this little slit. So the reason why I'm not gonna be using this fitting is because I'm gonna be using the blow off valve adapter with the quick connect fittings so i am going to be using not the rubber line anymore but i am going to be using a hard line which should be better but i'm about to prep all this stuff show you guys and then yeah start putting this on all right so we're going to start by putting on the blow off valve hopefully you guys can hear me with all this wind but we're going to start putting that here's the blow off valve the o-ring don't forget to And the clamp that goes with it. So what I'm gonna do is I opened it just a slight bit just so when I get everything on there, I'm gonna open it a little bit more, it can just slide on there. Just don't bend it too much. So now once I get it on, it should be easy and then we'll just close it together. So just push down on it so the o-ring doesn't come out of place slide this over just like that close it with your hands and then that should be on I'm gonna grab these two little screws and the bolt slide them in and then start tightening this up all right guys so this is how it is this isn't tight yet but i'm about to tighten this up but other than that it's all good with the o-ring don't forget that o-ring guys because you will get a boost leak but let me start tightening this up and then i'll get back to you guys All 
All right, so the O-ring is in there. Before we start installing this pipe, I am gonna go and install the blow off valve adapter. So I'm gonna show you guys where this goes. And I mean, I use this, you guys don't have to, but it is a kit that BMS sells. Um, if you don't, if you guys get this blow off valve, usually people tap into the manifold, and I didn't want to do that, so that's why I'm going with this, so it'll be way much easier. So, this comes with two inserts, pretty much the port fittings or whatever you want to use it for. I'm only going to use one of these, so I'm going to plug up the bottom one. Let's just go ahead and tighten that up. I guess as hard as you guys can. There. So that's going to go like that. And then we're going to be installing this straight push lock fitting onto this one. Let's go ahead and get that installed. Alright guys, so that's on. Pretty much just tighten that as much as you can. So this one is plugged up. This is where the line is going to go in. And this is going to sit like that. So, let's go get this installed. Show you guys where this goes. And then go from there. Alright, so for this, where this goes, it goes right next to your throttle body it's right there we're gonna disconnect this we're gonna pop it off and then that's gonna slide in there and then this line is gonna attach to the end of the fitting so let's go ahead and get that removed all right guys so i got it removed let me try to show you guys so the line is removed you pretty much just pinch the top piece uh, this piece right here and the bottom squeeze it in and then you should be able to pull it off so that piece is going to go in here so we're going to slide that on and then this little nipple the kit comes with the, like a little plug so we're going to plug that up so this is the plug let's go ahead and start plugging that up it should just slide in there just like that it does come with a zip tie i mean i am going to use it i doubt this is going to come off but i'm just going to go ahead and use it Right, so that's on. I'm gonna chop that off right now. So let's start just move this out the way. This pretty much just sits in here. All right, so that pretty much sits like that. And the kit comes with this clip. Okay guys, so it's on there. That clip is kind of hard, but what I did is I put it on and with a screwdriver, I just pretty much pushed it in with both hands. So now we're just gonna grab this line and there you go. That's pretty much how it goes. So I'm gonna cut that little zip tie and then I'm going to attach the line, and then I'll show you guys the rest. So here's the line I was telling you that I was telling you guys about. So one end, just going to go in here, push it all the way in, and that's it. And then hey, that thing is not going to come off. The only way it's going to come off is if you push that blue tab in, and then you can take it off. All right, guys, just install the elbow. So this is facing that way. So the line is just gonna pretty much push in here. And yeah, so let me get this coupler on, start slapping this on. <clears throat> All right guys, so now that the charge pipe is on, we're gonna start tightening these clamps. So now all the clamps are on and now with this line that I was telling you guys about pretty much stick it in push it in here and boom not 
this thing, no matter how hard you tug it, it won't come out. Unless you push this blue tab, but there you go. Clamps are good. Blow off valve is good. The adapter is good. I honestly recommend getting this adapter if you want to if you don't want to tap into your manifold. Believe me guys, it's I prefer doing this than tapping into the manifold. Alright guys, so everything is on, everything's good. Charge pipe is on, blow off valve is on, intakes are on, the lines are on and secured. Don't forget, plug in the T-map sensor. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. The install of the Burger Motorsports charge pipe with the tile blow off valve and the adapter for that. I really recommend using that adapter or getting that with the push lock fittings, then tapping in to your manifold and using that rubber line. But yeah, that's gonna be it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It sounds really good. I'll try to get some videos or some clips of me driving the car but so you guys can hear the blow off valve That's gonna be it guys for this install i have a bunch of stuff for this car so make sure you guys subscribe like and hit that bell notification button so you guys know when i upload a video because we got a bunch of stuff to do to this car and i mean a lot like i got a bunch of parts in the house just waiting to get slapped on but like i said i gotta do maintenance first i only did that because i was getting boost leak and i was getting tired of hearing that so that's why i went with that but Tomorrow I'm going to be getting my oil filter housing gaskets done and all that other stuff. So once that's done, the car's going to get inspected to make sure that everything is good to go. And once I get the okay, everything is going to go on. So there's a lot of videos coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helped with the vacuum adapter because I know I haven't seen anybody use that adapter or at least like recorded it or showed you guys how it's done. But I hope it helps you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next video.